안녕하세요 If you want to understand any country, its society, its people, and its soul, you must read the literature of that country. You can know a country by listening to its music, by watching its movies or dramas and things like that. But to really, if, if you want to really understand what is there on the ground, how the people of that country are and what the realities of the societies are, then uh, in my opinion, literature is the best way to reach that level of understanding. One of the reasons why I feel this is, is that the people who write poems, stories and novels are generally much, much more closer to the ground realities than the people who make uh, movies, dramas or uh, music videos. So uh, from today, we are starting a series in which we will enjoy, read and enjoy Korean literature. And literature is not something that we should take lightly. And I in no way claim to be an expert or anything on literature. I am just a very basic beginner level reader of Korean literature. So whatever I say on any piece of literature will be just the opinion of a normal a common reader, not of uh, like an expert or a researcher or a critic or anything like that. I, I am far from, you know, those levels. So today uh, we will read one of the most popular poems from Korean literature, from modern Korean literature, uh, written by one of the most famous poets of modern Korea, Yoon Dong Ju. And the poem is Soshi in Korean. In English, uh, they translate it as a four word sometimes, sometimes as prelude or prologue. So uh, let's talk about the poet first before we go into the poetry. So Yoon Dong Ju was a poet. He is known as a young poet in Korea because uh, he was born in 1917 and he died at a very, very young age of 27 years in 1945. So, and in that small period of his existence on this earth, he wrote some poems that are still one of the most popular poems in South Korea. And people, I think it's very hard to find any Korean who doesn't know Yoon Dong Ju. Uh, so, Yoon Dong Ju wrote this uh, book actually. He was planning a book to write a book, a publish a book named Hanil Gwa Param Gwa Pyal Gwa Shi. So, in, in English, it will be Sky and Wind, Stars and Poetry, or and Poem, you can say. That was the title of his uh, proposed book. He was planning to publish that, but he got arrested. He was in Japan and like, at, as you must be knowing that Korea was a colony of Japan from 1910 to 1945. And uh, his poems of Yoon Dong Ju like show the agony, the struggle of people, the society of Korea during that colonial period. So he was in Japan and he was arrested for plot, like participating in the independence movement of Korea and plotting against the Japanese colonial government. And in the jail he died in like unknown circumstances. Some people claim that Japanese like uh, tortured him or uh, gave him poison or something like that. But it's unknown. There is no established truth. So he died before uh, publishing that book. So this book uh, was published after three years after his death in 1948. 
and this one poem Soshi was published as the preface of the book so it was the Morimal the prologue of the book so it represented the overall uh, feel of the book of the other poems included in the book uh, so we will read that uh, poem today it's a very very short poem but in the very short poem you can uh, you can totally understand uh, the poet actually because this is a poem that is very self reflective the poet is reflecting on himself how he feels about himself how he feels about the overall life or the society and people of korea so i will read the poem first and then i will uh, just uh, explain it in english so let me read it chungnun nalkaji haneul uroro hanjom phukromi opkiral ipse inen bharamedo nanen kherowo hetta phyeol nore hanen maamuro modeun chugo ganen gosel sarang heaji kerigo nahan te chuojin kiral koro gayagetta onul bhamedo phyeori bharame sichiunda so that is the poem very short as you can see so let me explain it briefly uh, there has been a lot of you know uh, many people have written research papers on this poem there have been like articles and debates have happened on this poem so i i don't claim that uh, you know i know this i totally understand this poem but from my understanding of korean language and society Uh, i will try to explain this so the first line is chungnun nalkaji hanerul uroro so uroro is like looking up hanel is sky and chungnun nalkaji is like till the day till the day of my death so till till the day i die hanerul uroro hanjom pukromi opkiral pukromi is like shame hanjom one dot one speck of shame opkiral so i wish that i don't have even a speck of shame in my life till the day i die hanerul uroro so here the word hanel if you see it symbolizes a uh, not hanel hanel is a symbol of uh, positivity you can say or someone is there there is this in it feeling that someone is there in the sky it can be god it can be the nature or whatever you call it someone is there who knows everything so not only what you are doing uh, from outside even what you are thinking the the the, the one sitting in the skies knows even that thing so he is saying that even when i look up at that existence that thing that knows everything i should not have any shame about any of my actions about any of my thoughts so i want to live such a pure and innocent life that when i look at the god or nature i do not have a speck of shame that i did this thing wrong or i thought this thing wrong so that is the explanation of the the, the first two lines then it says ipse inen bharamedo nanen kherowo hetta kherowo hetta is like i suffered even when the wind stirred the leaves so when even if a leaf got stirred by the wind i was someone who suffered from that like seeing that thing i suffered so basically here if you see the the wind wind is a symbol of the difficulties the agony the problems the sufferings of those difficult times in korean society because korea was like a colony of japanese and the people had to go through lots of sufferings and oppression so here like because uh, in all the colonial period literature whether it is a poem or whether it is a story or whether it is a novel because there was very strong you know rules and laws uh, against 
writing anything against the government and writing anything indicating the uh, freedom so people couldn't write like openly that uh, about the sufferings about the government's policies or everything so they use different symbols so here also you can see that he hasn't mentioned anything about japan or the colonial government or anything he is using symbols so when he uses the symbol sky it's a symbol of positivity seems like uh, a symbol of hope and in the second stanza when he says param param is the a negative symbol of whatever is wrong with the society whatever the common people whatever struggle common people are going through so here it's and the leaf leaf are nothing but common people of korea so he says that even when i whenever i see anyone going through the suffering or agony even if it is a small hassle or problem it it caused me some suffering i, I get pain by seeing that in the third stanza he says pyoral nore hanen maamro modo modun jugo khanen gosel sarang heaji pyoral nore hada so pyol is again a symbol of hope symbol of brightness positivity the stars pyoral nore hanen maamro so someone like i i am someone who want to sing the songs of stars and so singing songs of stars means like he wants to spread hope that something positive will come out eventually and as that person he says that modun chugo khanen gosel sarang heya ji so i need to love i must love every thing that is dying all the things that are dying i should love them so all the things that are dying means like basically the society the the, the korean society the korean people he has like uh, he has used that symbol for those that these are the things that are dying the korean people society in the country because there is darkness all around and i must love these people the common people i must love this country everything that is dying i must love it and i should support it so basically whoever is suffering in this world he should be he deserves love of mine so here it is self reflecting about himself uh, but yeah it can be said that from the point of view of any person and later on in the second last stanza he says khri go nahante chuojin khiral koro khaya gitta and i must walk the path that has been given to me so every person is born with some goal to achieve some path that you have to travel it it is given it is your destiny whatever you call it but you have to go through that path whether you go to that path or whether you deviate or go to a wrong path that is up to you but the destiny the nature the god whatever you call it it expects you to walk a certain path so here is saying that he, i want to live a life where i could i could walk that path that has been given to me so i want to live a pure life a life that is positive in which i love everyone yes and in the last stanza he says unal phame do phori phara me se chunda so here it means that tonight again the wind is passing by brushing the stars the wind is sweeping over the stars so here again you see these two symbols star and wind so wind are is nothing but sufferings and negative things and agony and struggle and stars are the symbol of positivity everything that is positive about you about the society that is about the country so the winds are trying to sweep over the positive things but can a wind really impact the stars no because stars even if no matter how strong the wind is the stars will never stop shining so he doesn't conclude anything he just says things but through symbols he says a lot of things 
and that is the beauty of his poetry and that is why korean people love the poems of yoon dong ju and it is taught in the syllabus of middle school high school even in universities they teach this poem they do research on the, in this uh, on the poems of yoon dong ju so uh, so you can see the, the 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 main things that i want to point out here is the how they use different symbols from nature like a sky star wind and those things to represent the realities of the society to represent the people the country the struggles of the colonial era so and you see that this is a poem in which the poet is not only describing things he's actually reflecting on his own feelings his own ideals his own life how he wants to live his life you know so uh, it's a really beautiful poem and i thought that uh, this can be a poem uh, with which i can start this series and in the next video i'll come again with another piece of korean literature it can be a poem it can be a story uh, yeah so thank you